Hey everybody, Mr. Odom here, and I got some problems from section 1.4, and we're going to work these out together. Um, you'll need a pencil, composition book, or notebook paper, maybe a calculator, maybe not. And the learning target for this video is I can evaluate expressions with exponents. Um, so let me scroll down a little bit so we have some room to work. All right. Um, so we talked, I talked about this in the instructional video. So in the video lesson, um, when I have these parentheses, think so, think of parentheses as an all inclusive, um, symbol. So anything that's in there, um, uh, is, it's like a pot and everything that's in the pot is all mixed together. So, um, if I want to, um, expand this exponents, then I want to write it this way. This would be negative four to the second power means I take negative four and multiply it by negative four. All right. And then what am I going to do here? Well, same sign means positive answer. So that's 16. Okay. So negative four to the second power is 16. Okay, now that's different. If I look at this problem, it's negative 8 to the second power. There are no parentheses here. So this negative sign is not included. Like here, the negative sign was included because it's in the parentheses. There's no parentheses here. So another way I can think about this problem is writing the negative, and then I could put eight to the second power okay i could write it like that you don't have to but that's one way you can think about it so if i do it like that then this is negative and then i have eight times eight and what is eight times eight well it's 64. so negative eight to the second power equals negative 64. all right Sometimes students get a little confused on this, and it's just going to take some practice. That's all it's going to take. All right. Um, let's look at problem 36. So for this one, I have negative 5 to the second power times 4. All right. So this negative sign means I'm going to have negative, and then in parentheses, there's another way I can write this. I can write this as 5 times 5, like that. And then this is also multiplied by 4. So inside the parentheses, I use PEMDAS. I do parentheses first. So this is negative 5 times 5 is negative 25 times 4. Different signs means that I have a negative answer. So negative five squared times four equals negative 100. All right, if you have questions, um, bring them to class tomorrow um, so we can take a look at this, take a look at problems like this. There's more in the textbook, but uh, that's how you evaluate expressions with exponents, all right? So this is Mr. Odom. And I am out. Have a good day. And uh, you guys are awesome. So I will see you soon. Bye.